<laughs> hey, what's up? How is everybody doing? I hope all you guys are good. I hope you guys are keeping safe. Uh, what's our five counties? Mazay Pole. But just uh, practice those MOH things and let's hope uh, Jaden will fungle you guys soon. So, for those who don't know me, my name is Ricky Nelson. Okay? And uh, today's story is based on something that we have all gone through as in its nature. It has to happen. You do not have a say or a choice in this. Uh, but before I get there, uh, I'd like to ask one question. What is your biggest regret in life? When you look back, when you sit down and think to yourself, what's the thing that I regret most? What have I done that I wish I could go back and change? My answer to that question is uh, growing up, man. Yeah, as in uh, this, this, this growing up thing. I don't think if I could choose, man, I would not. I would not do it again. Because <laughs> I believe, I believe that we are all victims of uh, false advertising. Because when we were kids, we thought that adults or being an adult was the epitome of success. We thought that when I were, when just, just, just let me grow up. When I grow up, I'll be able to do anything I want. I'll have all the freedom that I need. I'll not need to report to my parents. I'll not need to answer to anybody. But man, <laughs> isn't growing up a trip, man? Because <laughs> oh, basically what happens, what happens is all those things that you dreaded as a child just become something else <laughs> and sometimes even harder. <laughs> Because, yeah, you don't have to report to your mom, but you still have either to report to your boss or you have to report to your wife or your husband. So that doesn't change much. Okay? <laughs> you thought that when you grew up, <laughs> number two, you thought that you would have all the freedom in the world. And yes, yes, you do. Right now, right this second, I could walk out of this door and go anywhere that I want. I could. Yes. But not if my wallet has anything to say about it. Because leaving this door, as soon, as soon as you step out of the threshold of your home, that's an expense right there. Okay? Whether you're using public means, whether you're using your own vehicle, whether you're walking, it doesn't really matter. It's an expense. <laughs> so what do we do? Nine times out of ten? Just sit at home. <laughs> you will find people and you'll test them, hey uh what you up to must say i'm busy dude hey i can't even make leo as in i'm busy if <laughs> if you could put a camera in the home what would you find them doing just bumming on the sofa scrolling through instagram <laughs> because adulting man is a scam <laughs> we have all thought about this adulting is a freaking scam because we hoped that when we got here okay the life would be better life would be simpler okay but think about it even even those holidays right now right now we have easter coming around the corner okay for us for us who still have some 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 uh form of freedom let's call it that some form of freedom well we are ex we're not that excited about easter you know why because Back then, when you were a kid, you were excited about the holidays because it was not your money. But now, anything and everything that you want to do has to be catered to by your money. Okay, well, if you're, if you're a hard-working individual and you're not um, a leech or a sugar baby or... A, okay, let's... Okay. Uh, I don't, I, I don't want to get into that right now because that's a topic for something else entirely and uh, some people got into some trouble recently about it okay and <laughs> okay okay now <laughs> scratch that scratch that let's let's get back to this i digress i digress so <clears throat> but you want to know what's the thing i miss about most about being a kid you know what i want to sorry let me say that again you know what i miss most about being a kid the ability to fall down and get back up as in because as a kid you're literally like a ball you could just boom you bounce up you're back on your feet you dust yourself off and you keep on playing but as an adult 
as an adult especially if you're big like i am falling down is a near death experience for real as in like all of us have been there where you're you're shooking stairs and then you cross on that one step and you go you know that little thing where you go and in that little millisecond your entire life flashes before your eyes <laughs> and your heart races over 600 pounds a minute because you don't know and that's why adults fall down dramatically because you don't know if you're going to be able to get back up after that fall this could be it for you okay <laughs> that's why you will find an adult will trip and go like oh oh <laughs> Because they're not sure, I say they're not sure whether <laughs> whether they are gonna get back up, whether they're gonna see tomorrow. <laughs> the reason <laughs> the reason why why I chose to talk about this today is because I had a near death experience this morning. Yes, today, right when I was going to work, and I was I think there are about five steps before you get into our lobby, and I tripped on one of those motherfuckers. And before for, by, by, by the time I got from a vertical to a horizontal position, I had so many epiphanies. I was like, damn, so that's why people die. I had all this. <laughs> and I asked myself, man, is this it? <laughs> Am I not going to celebrate Easter? <laughs> that is it, man. I said, so... <laughs> What uh, what's the takeaway from this video? What what do I want you guys to know after watching this? One, Bana, uh, have fun, live your best life. Anything, anything that makes you happy, anything that brings joy to your heart, must go and do it. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you're not killing anybody. Go and do it, because you do not want to wake up one day, and on your way to work. <laughs> or on your way to the shop it doesn't really matter <laughs> and you trip and fall <laughs> and have to live through all those regrets <laughs> before you hit the ground <laughs> my name is Ricky Nelson and thanks for watching